Hello, my name is Sigurður Ingu Kristensson. I'm a professor of hematology at the University of Iceland and uh, the PI for the ISTOP MM uh, study. I'm very delighted to give uh, my talk of our abstract 156 at the, the, uh, the AS meeting in Atlanta this December. The title of the talk is Screening for MGUS, a population-based randomized clinical trial. First results from the Iceland Screen Streets or Prevents Myeloma study, the ISTOP MM study. So screening has been shown to be beneficial in several malignancies and early detection can lead to the possibility of cure. However, systematic screening for MCOS and myeloma has not been studied in a randomized clinical trial. The role of diagnosis and clinical follow-up of uh, MCOS in, on survival in myeloma has been studied. And this is one of uh, the studies we did some years ago, which, which was actually uh, the, the result that uh, made us uh, do the ISTOP MM study. So here we show that if people are followed for MGUS, uh, it leads to an improvement in overall survival. So all myeloma patients are preceded by MGUS. Usually we don't know about it, sometimes we do. If we know about it and they have been followed, it leads to an improvement in overall survival. It also leads to less fractures at myeloma diagnosis, less kidney disease, less hypercalcemia. And this study, which confirmed our findings, also superior myeloma survival. Uh, in, in a population-based study uh, on high-risk smoldering myeloma patients, uh, we could see that the, the risk of uh, transformation to active myeloma is very high. In, and in this study, we could see that half of the patient had progressed to myeloma after one and a half years, suggesting that we these might be in that we might want to treat these individuals. However, only two to six percent of myeloma patients are actually diagnosed at the precursor state. So, in reality, and most people with myeloma are treated are treated when they already have uh, myeloma. So, if we want to treat uh, smoldering myeloma, how do we find them? So everyone is uh, uh, relying on them uh, turning up to our clinic by chance. The other thing we could do is uh, by screening. So the benefits and harms of screening need to be taken into account. There are benefits like early detection, early treatment, prevention rather than treating, and uh, hopefully improved survival. But also, there is cost, there is potential psychological harm, and there are unnecessary evaluation and clinical visits and so on and so forth. So the question we asked ourselves is, should we screen for MGUS? So this is the outline of the ISTOP MM study. We invited the individuals to participate. We sent the blood samples to the binding site in, in Birmingham, UK, for SPEP and free light chain analysis. Those with MGUS uh, they are enter a randomized clinical trial with three different arms, including no uh, further workup in arm one, current international myeloma working group guidelines in arm two, and the more intensive follow-up in arm three. Those with very high levels of M proteins or FLC ratio above 100, they do not enter the randomization as they have at least smoldering or active myeloma by definition. So the overall aims of the ISTOP MM study is to evaluate the impact of screening for MCUS. And on overall on overall survival, to obtain evidence for optimal workup and follow up, to integrate other uh, novel uh, biological markers and imaging in risk models for progression, to evaluate the impact of screening on quality of life, intensive biobanking, and the whole concept is early detection and early intervention. So we recruited participant or informed consent for over two year time. 148,000 Icelanders uh, were invited, all 40 years and older at the time. More than 54% of the Icelandic population actually signed informed consent, or 80,759 individuals. We have sampled over 75,000 individuals and screened them for uh, MGUS. So this is what it looks like for the purpose of this talk. We have 3,725 people with MCUS. Those that had already been diagnosed with MCUS before the ISTOP MM study were not included in this particular analysis. And as you can see here, uh, there are 
about 1,160 uh, patients in each arm. So uh, this slide just shows you that the, the arms are uh, well balanced. 45% uh, are female. Uh, median age is 69 years. IgG uh, isotype is about 50%. And we have 143 individuals with uh, free light chain MGUS. So this is actually the main result of this uh, presentation. So what we in essence see here is the difference in screening versus not screening. So ARM1 represents standard of care as it is today. You don't screen, but still people are diagnosed with myeloma, amyloidosis, and so on. So during this follow-up, nine individuals were diagnosed with myeloma, small tumor myeloma. Uh, arms two and three are both active screening, screened and uh, worked up according to diff different protocols. If you uh, do uh, according to current guidelines where you don't do bone marrow in low risk AMCUS, we identified 92 individuals. And if we do bone marrow in every single one and low to CT of the bones in everyone with um, non-ITM AMSPIKE, we find more or 133. And this was highly statistically significant. Now, some of these actually have uh, smoldering disease that uh, do not require immediate uh, treatment. So if we exclude them, we still find the significant difference between the three arms. Um, here you can see it's stratified by disorder. So any lymphoproliferative disorder is highly significant. And then you can see here, uh, some, sometimes the power is not that good, but still the overall picture is the same. So in conclusion, in this large prospective population-based screening study, the ISTOP MM study, including more than 75,000 screened persons, we have identified 3,725 individuals with monochromic gammopathy. And after three years of follow-up, based on our randomized clinical trial, we show that active screening identifies significantly higher number of individuals uh, with full-blown malignancy and smoldering disease. Our findings illustrate the fact that early detection and intervention is achievable. However, and this is important, although our findings are encouraging until final results of the ISTOP-MM study become available, including data on survival and quality of life, we advise against systematic AMCO screening in healthy individuals. With that, I would like to thank all our collaborators and in particular, all the participants of the ISTOP-MM uh, study and my fantastic ISTOP-MM team in Iceland. Thank you so much.